hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can install windows 10 on virtualbox now you'll need uh, the hypervisor virtualbox and then you will you will also need the iso image for windows 10 so we'll need to download the file if you don't have it already now let me open a browser you can go to google and search for download windows windows 10 then you want to go to the link that takes you to microsoft.com and under download windows 10 disk image iso file so we'll click on this link once you get to this page you want to go to the option that says create windows 10 installation media so click on this download now option and then it should start to download and then once it's downloaded you want to click on media creation tool click on yes okay here what you need to do is you need to accept so you can just scroll down here and click on accept okay when you get to this point you don't want to upgrade this pc what you want to do is uh, create installation media so select this option and then click on next and then here the language is already auto populated for english uh, the edition windows 10 and then the architecture is uh 64 bit so you go with these uh, recommended options and then click on next and here you have to select the uh, iso file and then click next so here you just have to select the folder where you want this to be saved and then click save so this process is going to take a while and i already went through the process so I'm just gonna cancel here. I don't wanna bore everybody with the, this process. I'm just gonna cancel here. Now, once you're done with the, it's done with the process of creating the image, what you're gonna end up with is a file that's uh, gonna be named uh, windows.iso. And this is the image file that we need to install the um, Windows 10 on our VirtualBox. Now, the next thing is to open your virtual box and then you want to create new virtual machine you can click on new so here just give it a name we call it windows 10 and then select a folder for your virtual machines we'll select the image later here so we can skip that so here it's defaulting to windows microsoft windows and it's uh, defaulting to windows 10 64 bit so we'll go with that we'll click on next here you can specify the amount of uh, memory you want to use so you can increase it depending on how much memory you have on your host and you can increase the cpu also depending on what you have on your host and then you can click on next you can specify the disk size i'm gonna go with 20 gb and i'll go with next now click finish this is the virtual machine i'm gonna right click on it and go to settings okay we'll go to system again can just move optical to the top processor you can make changes here again whatever changes you want to make and then under display video memory you can leave the default the maximum so under storage right now the disk is saying it's empty we want to point to that iso image that we downloaded so go to choose a disk file and then go to navigate to where you have your iso image i'll go to it it's right here windows 10 iso select it and click open and now it's attached and you can make any other changes you want here i'll change the network to reach the adapter i leave everything as a default i'll click ok and now i'm gonna power on this virtual machine i'm gonna click start And it's gonna start the installation process. I'm gonna pause the video. I'll come back when we need to input something. Okay, here you have your language. It's uh, defaulting to English, and the keyboard is uh, US. So I'm gonna go with the defaults here. I'll click on next, and I'll click install now. And I'm gonna pause the video again. At this point, I'll say I don't have a product key. So I'll click on that. 
and I'll select Windows 10 Pro here and click on next. Now uh, we'll accept the license terms and click on next. And you want to select custom. So select that option, select the uh, your drive and then click on next. And then you should start copying Windows files and doing the installation. So let me pause the video here. So it's still doing the installation. It's looking like it's almost done with the installation. So the installation takes a while. You have to be patient here. Okay, now we are at this screen and we have to select the region. I'm going with the United States. I'm clicking yes here. And then the keyboard layout, US, I'll click yes. I'm going to skip. Now here I'll go with the setup for personal use. I'll click next. And I'll click on offline account. Uh, limited experience and here you can give your name and then click next here you need to put in a password next and then confirm your password then you need to set three security questions so I'll set up the questions and come back once I'm done. So I'm done with the, the security questions. Here I'm going to go with not now. You can go with the default so you can disable whatever you want to disable. And then click accept. I'm going to skip. Uh, not now. And that's it. The installation is done and we are at the desktop of our Windows 10 device. You can look at the system, see what you have set up, the memory and everything else. So it's a Windows 10 Pro, the version 22H2, and that's all for this video. That's how we install Windows 10 a virtual machine on a virtual box. I hope this has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.